All right, guys, I'm down here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, I'm working out of Jacksonville, local 177. I'm out of Birmingham, Alabama, local 136. And I see some guys on the uh, Facebook pages talking about non-union. And I have worked non-union. I worked the first six years of my career in non-union. And I remember uh, first day my boss asking me, said, uh, you want us to put any, you want to have anything cut out of your check for retirement? And I was 19, I said, heck no. Wanted all my money. So uh, after that, you know, I um, joined the union I had my wireman's tick, ticket and I had to, uh, or my journeyman card, I had to uh, test in. I'd been studying for my master's uh, to take it, so I was up to date on code and everything and I passed the uh, union electrician test. Uh, I had went to the uh, non-union apprenticeship um, during my six years. It wasn't six years, I think it was about four years I went. Some of it was college, college and uh, tech school, electrical engineering. But uh, in those 20 some odd years being in the union, I had put a total of about Probably now it's like $275,000 in my pension. So that's a real plus. Some of these guys uh, I've seen say they're not paying their dues and all that. You gotta pay your dues, pay your dues. You're not getting anybody back by not paying your dues and then getting behind. You lose your uh, burial uh, benefits the union will pay for my burial or anybody's burial as long as they're paid up on their union dues. So you gotta stay paid up on that, stay current. That uh, paying up on those union dues keeps your representation uh, availability available there. You pay union dues and you have representation to help negotiate and uh, get better deals in your wages, your retirement, your benefits, health insurance and uh, all those things. So keep up on your union dues. And as far as union and non-union, I learned a lot in the non-union now. I learned a lot of stuff that I had never seen in the union. A lot of it was residential, burn jobs. You know, I can just about do anything in a house um, or residential jobs where uh, the part of the house burn up you had to go in and rewire and do stuff like that all the house burnt down they build a new one back build a new one remodeling add-ons additions all kinds of stuff like that but then there's a uh, powerhouses car plants stuff like that I'd never seen in the uh, non-union we'd been to a few small plants we'd never been to any of these big giant plants so you learn a lot of that. There was a lot of stuff uh, in there as far as conduit and all that that I'd never seen before. So overall take is uh, union was better for me. So even if you're wanting to start your own business one day, the union will help you and get you going. Um, a lot of guys think they're gonna go through the program sometimes some guys and then start their own company one day but you can, yeah you can do that and you can do it through the union and the union will help you and some of these other bigger union companies will throw you a bone and give you some of the jobs that are maybe too small for them but there would be a great job for you starting out you know you're starting out you want small jobs you don't want no overwhelming big job
So yeah, I'm down here because of the union. I'm getting to work out of town, out of state. Now that I'm single and my kids are grown up, I'm able to get off, take off and go wherever I want. So I'd never been down to Daytona and Jacksonville and all that. So I wanted to do that. And uh, here I am. Plus it was cold up north for a little while and I was ready to get out of that. Of course it's been cold down here. As you see, nobody's in the water. They are, well, they're in the water a little bit. It's pretty cold. I guess it's about, it's probably 75 right now. I think it got up near 80 today. This is uh, March 6, 2022. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so if you're uh, thinking you are, you're going to go through the, you want to start your own business one day, starting a union company is a great thing. I think the work will uh, will come to you in the union. So you'll have these big union contractors. They'll uh, you'll probably you've probably known a lot of the uh, owners and the uh, guys in there running the shop. And hey, once they find out. You're a good worker and that you used to work for them or whatever during your apprenticeship program and now you're starting your own company hey they'll help you out they'll give you jobs they'll send jobs your way that uh, they can't get to or they don't need at the moment so yeah all you young guys hey look at starting your own company a union company union shop so just remember when you do things the proper way expect proper results but when you don't do things the proper way don't expect it to go your way all the time so pay your union dues up keep them current keep them ahead some guys pay a year ahead some guys pay six months ahead others pay two or three months ahead so yeah stay up on that now another thing the uh the union members will do for each other this is not anything uh to do with uh the companies or anything this is uh this is just the men um that i'm talking about yeah so a lot of times the guys that take up money for sick and needy and uh i know one time i had uh surgery i had a hernia surgery and they uh i was off work uh three weeks and the guys brought me three checks where they had taken up money and gave me uh, like three $800 checks for help with my bills and stuff because I'd been out. Now that was pretty good of them. They didn't have to do that. So a lot of times when uh, they're taking up money for sick and needy, it's a good thing to always give. I always gave before that. It comes back to you. You know what I'm saying? back to my saying when you do things the proper way expect proper results helping those guys that are uh, in need comes back to benefit you in the end so anyway guys on the if you would on the comments shout out your local and what local number you're in and uh, maybe even the uh, city you like working in the best but give me a shout out i'm local 136 birmingham alabama y'all stay careful out there and be uh be good brothers and uh sisters and uh we'll talk to you soon later